Okay, aloha, aloha. Okay, we're going to do a song about the uh, Waikiki Beach Boy. The title of the song is I Am a Beach Boy, Waikiki Beach Boy. <laughs> Not a beach, you know. Who's, we used to do four part harmony, you know. So uh, he come down and like, uh, you know, bring his ukulele. Okay, you take this part, you take that part. We used to do four part harmony, you know. <clears throat> he was going to uh, after coming back, but he went to the mainland and got homesick. So he came back home and went to U.S. Hawaii instead, you know. And, uh, you know, he was married at that time to, to his uh, sweetheart from Kamehameha. You know, she, uh, uh, I think, at that time, I think he had two, kids, two babies, I think, one, one or two babies. I didn't even know that, you know. I tell I went to his house one day, you know. I mean, he lives out at Lili at that time. And, he, and this, the name of the street was Kellett Street, my name. You know, it is real, uh, you know, uh, not too hot, uh, 
you know, uh, please, you know, yeah, it's not that, yeah, he's also kind of old too, I was surprised, I figured a mom would buy my a bigger home, but they was renting that, you know, just for them, you know, because he wanted to be on his own, be his own man, because the mom used to give him everything, the cars and everything, and, uh, but well, she bigger than him, you know. You know, at Honey's Bar, he kind of away. Well, the mom owned that, you know. You're right? And that's where Don started singing, playing piano. You know. But me, when he just started to do that stuff, I went to Haley up here, mainland. You know, 19, well, almost 59, but it was almost like December, right? It was almost the, the end of the month, so I would say 1960. To, uh, to now, you know, 60 years ago, bro. 1960 to 60 years ago. <laughs> Made me feel old, you know? But I haven't been home, I, you know, I go home, the only time I go home is when we take the ashes out, you know, my, you know, like guys, you know? When I choose to go home to whoever I'm lucky at, and, uh, and I go home and, you know, go in a canoe, you know, I take the canoe or I go paddle, you know. So I've been lucky. I go home, I mean, uh, you know, uh, these guys, a lot of these kids don't know me. They see me, you know, and they go, who's that guy, you know? Hey, he's uh, the old fart from way back. You know? Until they see me out there, you know, I was kind of, you know, I'm pretty aggressive guy. You know, when I, I still surf, you know. And I go out there, man. Don't get in my way, bro. <laughs> I go, hey, what's up for uncle? He's coming, man. Stay out of his way. Uh, you know, that's something like in the old days, you know, like, you know, when Gemma, you know, Gemma Kikai, Rabbit, you know, you know, Rabbit, and uh, Henry, his brother Henry, Niga, you know, and then Samson, another brother, four brothers, all by different fathers. Amazing, <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, Gemma was our, he was our godfather. I mean, he was the man of respect. You better respect, you know. Yeah, that 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 was, that was uh, our mentor. You know, he was the best man of because, you know, when he tell you something, it's like coming here telling you, telling his truth, right? And the Uru is troops. So, uh, I, you know, I'm proud of that. Uh, uh, growing up on the beach. We're the second generation. The beach boys, all of us come from Kuyo Beach. Most of the guys, second generation. Rabbit, Blumakua, uh, you go down the list, man. You know, all the guys, all the old timers, all from Kuyo Beach. We all step out at Queens. You know. Yeah, man. Everybody learn how to Queens. That's the place to go, you know. And then we moved over to the hotels, you know, and then we became Beach Boys, you know. You know, for different clubs. And then we ended up all working for a regular canoe club. Because they had the most money. They, they're going to last the longest, right? You know. So, but I only stayed a couple years there. Because after that, I went heading to the mainland, you know. I came up here in California, and I'm still here. I, I came for uh, looking for my riches, and I ended up more poor than ever. <laughs> I was looking for uh, the fountain of youth, and uh, actually, you know, back there, I was, was okay, but, you know, when you were the guys, you know, suck them up, bad idea. You know, and you gotta grow up. I got married in '56. You know, then my wife got pregnant, and then we had twins yet. And, yeah. You know, how? You know, we met '56. We had uh, '58. We had twins. And in '59, you know, I bought the, you know, at the end of the, the year, December, I had a cut up plane, came back, came to uh, the mainland because my wife. She works in an entertainment business too, you know, and uh, she, you know, she had contracts to go to certain places, you know, 
And uh, so I we came up to Hollywood, we in Hollywood. And that's the, all I'm going to tell you guys. <laughs> anyway, this song over here, I, I seen this on YouTube that the, this kid wrote that, well, you know, he's a, like a kid that grew up and uh, dreamed to be a beach boy. But he went to college and all that and came back. And uh, uh, I, I guess he was, in, you know, like in his dreams, he was a beach boy, you know. I don't know if he really became a beach boy. But I would have known, I think, you know. Anyway, uh, uh, he wrote a song, and uh, this melody I'm doing is almost pretty close, you know, but you know, but two different melodies, you know, but almost the same style. So I, I love, I heard that thing, and uh, it gave me an inspiration for, for writing my own, you know. But, you know, because of brother, I got influenced by uh, that, that, that group. They call them the Hopper, you know, two guys. So, uh, you know, I'm Hopper. <laughs> you know, Hopper means, you know, like part this, part that, right? You know. But I get more Hawaiian than I get the other stuff. You know. uh, and me, I look like a holly, but, you know, but. You know, like my grandma flew Hawaiian, right? Uh, and and my grandfather Irish. You know, so that's fifty fifty, right? And then on the other side, you know, the grandpa out there and, and his wife, not a thing too. You know, the guy is a Welsh, but I really don't know. You know, like his name's Watson. And he married a Hawaiian, pure Hawaiian. And then the kids they had, uh, you know, they were that's half and half. But he married into uh, like a, uh, oh, was a full blooded Hawaiian, you know, one of the kids, the half and half. So that's like three quarter and one quarter holy, you know. So that, that quarter is like, I, I never even know, you know. So uh, so I ended up, I was wondering how come I get more Hawaiian. That's on my, my, my father's, uh, 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 my father's father, you know. He, he married a girl that, Full blooded Hawaiian, you know, and, and they have Hawaiian, and what's it? So they pass it on to me. And then I will turn, actually, I look like a Portuguese. <laughs> hey, shaka, bro. You know, I, I, anyway, I, I'm going to put this thing on, 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 on you. If I like it, I'm going to put it on YouTube. Say, say, mahalo. Thank you very much for listening to my stuff. Okay, aloha.